fans, your pal Big D back here with another weekly news announcement. And this is for the 21st of December, the 28th of December, and the 4th of January 2022. So I put this up a little bit late this week. Sorry about that. Uh, holiday season's really gotten, I, I feel like I've fallen behind a lot for some weird reason this year. Even though I've had a little bit more time to do things, it just seems like everything came up so quickly anyway. So... Normally what I like to do with, with, with this video is once we put this up, I talk about what's coming out new on Blu-ray and DVD 4K for the current week and next week, anything that's majorly announced. Being this is the holiday season, I'm going to kind of put the next three weeks because there's not a lot really coming out the next three weeks. This week was a okay week. Next week is almost nothing. And same thing with the first week of January as well. So I thought they put all these things together into one video. I will do another video next week closer to New Year's. There's a little New Year's thing I like to do every year. Um... And then I still, and I promise you, it's coming. I keep forgetting to post at my Black Friday haul, which I feel stupid. I should have posted a long time ago. The video has been edited. It's just sitting there waiting. I keep forgetting to do it. That is all my fault. And I do apologize for that. But um, yeah, so I'll just do a couple things. Got a little message here and there. And we'll be out real quick on this one. So let's talk about this week was the only week that really anything came out. So being the 21st, on Tuesday, we did have uh, No Time to Die, the final Daniel Craig movie. If you've seen the movie, uh, you'll understand what I mean by that. Um, let's see here. So that did come out on Blu-ray, DVD, 4K. There was a special edition uh, steelbook, which I did get, but it won't be here till Monday because I, I ordered it because none of my stores around me got them. Um, and then there was a uh, there was a Walmart exclusive, and I believe there's a there's a uh, there is a Target exclusive also. Both those are only uh, Blu-ray exclusives, and not 4K exclusives like the Steelbook is. But those are out there. You should be able to find it pretty much anywhere at this point. It's a brand new movie in the week of Christmas. There's a lot out there. I've seen a lot out there. So um, also this week we did have the uh, the the Merry Saints of Newark, which is the prequel to the Sopranos TV show that was on the, on um, HBO. I think it was the '90s, wasn't it? So this is a prequel. It looked interesting. I never watched all the Sopranos. I think I saw like the first season of it. Um, I do know in this one, um, it's a prequel, so you kind of see how the stuff gets flushed out to where it comes into the uh, into you know the Sopranos itself. So um, that is Blu-ray, DVD, and there is a 4K of that as well. Um, Shot Factor released Day the World Ended to, uh, this week. MVD released a movie called Final Justice. I kind of remember the movie from the 80s, kind of cheesy. Um, Blue Bayou came out this week. I have no idea what that's about. I just saw it in a couple stores. And then, um, Fortress came out this week. Another Bruce Willis classic, I'm sure. I think that 2020 and 2021 were really the years of Bruce Willis and Nicolas Cage. I don't, I can't honestly remember a week in the last two years. I don't remember either one of those two having a movie come out that week. I really can't. It's just like every time I turn Especially like lately, Bruce Willis, like every week I go into walk into a Best Buy or I just look at the, uh, I go on a couple web pages and look at where the releases are coming out. And it's always a Bruce Willis movie in there lately. So it's kind of funny how like it, it, a lot of direct to DVD, obviously direct to home video movies, but it's kind of funny how it's like constant him and Nicolas Cage. They both have big years again this year. So um, not saying any of the content for it is good in these movies, but they are releasing them. So, and I've seen a couple of them here and there. And they're all pretty cheesy. Matter of fact, a couple of them that I think I, I think back that I've seen, like Bruce Willis is only in like a, a, a fraction of the movie, but hey, whatever. So uh, that is what come, came out this week. Again, it wasn't a much. Next week, the 28th, a couple days after Christmas, uh, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, um, we do have um, MVDs releasing uh, Jack Frost and Jack Frost 2. Um, I don't think Jack Frost 2 has ever been available on Blu-ray before. Um, I know that Jack Frost has because I have the original, oh uh, gosh, I, I want to say Scorpion releasing or one of those uh, boutique companies releasings of, of Jack Frost. I remember it took me a while to get it because it's been out of print for a while. Or at least it was a little bit harder to get. So um, I do already have that. But the second one, I don't think it's ever been available on Blu-ray. That's the first one that can be available on Blu-ray. So that is next week. And then Shout Factory is also releasing a movie called Castle Falls. I don't really know much about it. I think it's a one of the direct to, um, direct to home video movies, but that does come out. And that is it for next week. There's literally nothing. I scoured. There's a bunch of stuff from a, a couple boutique labels that you wouldn't find in these stores even if you had a chance to. And they didn't, you know, 
realistically, there's just nothing that we can. That's always how it is every year. Every year is always right, right the week after Christmas. They don't release anything because they figure nobody's going to go out and spend, spend any money on anything, which they forget to realize is the uh, millions of dollars of gift cards that were given out on Christmas. And people are itching to spend that gift card money. So, but typically there's just not a lot coming out. Now, uh, beyond that, we're looking, I, I want to go ahead and talk about what's coming out the 4th of January, which will be 2022, the new year. Um, there is only two movies coming out that day. Um, one is a movie called Antlers. Uh, it's a horror movie. I think it's a paranormal or something like that. I'm not really sure. And the other one is the movie Black Friday. Kind of funny. You'd think they would have gotten that out a little bit sooner. I did see Black Friday recently. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. Bruce Campbell, um, uh, Bruce Campbell's in it, although his role is a lot more subdued than you would normally expect for a Bruce Campbell role. He's in it, but probably not as much as you would think he was in it, but he's in it quite a bit still. But I really did enjoy it. Being from a retail background, I you know, I worked in retail for over 25 years, so it, it's funny to watch that, and even though it's like these people are turning into these creatures and stuff like that throughout the movie, just to watch the initial prep for Black Friday and watch all the insanity of Black Friday, just it, it just reminds me of those days working in retail and thinking... Here we go again, you know. Um, so it was. it's fun to watch the Bruce Campbell movie. I will pick it up just because it is a Bruce Campbell movie. But it, it, I do guarantee it is a fun movie to watch. A little on the ridiculous side, obviously. But um, still actually quite a bit of fun. So um, actually, who is it? Uh, Michael Jai White, the guy who played Spawn, is in the movie too. Which I really enjoyed. And he was kind of funny in a couple scenes. So it's a, good, it's a fun movie. It's definitely a fun movie. Um... Yeah, and that's all that comes out that that week. The week after that, which is what I think this of the eleventh, we do have some more major titles will start to come out. We do have Dune that was just in theaters coming out. We also have Halloween Kills that week as well. So be a couple more bigger blockbuster movies coming out the week after that. But as you can see, the next two weeks are really kind of a lull for us. There's not a whole lot coming out. They're kind of pulling back and you know. Whatever. Now, there were a few announcements, but not a whole lot of announcements. Um, they did announce Magnum P.I., the complete series on Blu-ray. Um, those of you in the 80s would remember Magnum P.I., the, the you know, the suave, cool, debonair guy from Hawaii who's, you know, solving crimes. Um, so that does come out on the 22nd of March. We do have, um, let's see here. I can't read my writing now. Oh, Shooter, coming out in 4K in a steelbook. The Mark Wahlberg classic that comes out on the 11th of March. We do have a Jimmy Neutron, the first Jimmy Neutron movie. The, the thing that started it all, Paramount is releasing that on a Blu-ray, and that'll be out the 8th of March. Then the last two, we do have King Richard, which was just in theaters. I think it's still on HBO Max. That will be coming on Blu-ray and DVD on the 8th. I think 4K also on the 8th of February. And the last one, and probably the one I'm most excited about, they just announced recently, and I'm actually really excited about it, uh, is uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I did see this movie a few couple weeks ago. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great throwback to the first two movies. Um, it was just, I thought it was a lot of fun. The fact that Egon is a pretty big character in that movie, even though Harold Ramis, rest in peace, is not with us anymore. He's a very big character in the movie, so I really enjoyed it. I I, I just thought it was a fun movie. It was great to see the Ghostbusters reassemble and, and you know, um, just watching the story unfold. I thought Paul Rudd was amazing in the movie. The 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 kids that were in the movie, I wish I could remember the names of them, but they were all really good. They all really did a really good job. Just a really fun movie. It really brought me back to those those days, you know. I saw Ghostbusters when I was a kid, but it came out... I could have been, what, 12, maybe? And I remember going to the theater and going to see it. Um, I saw a double feature because it came out around the same time as Beverly Hills Cop did. So I had gone into a theater in my lo in my town. I lived in a little town called Capitola at the time, which is only probably about, what, 12, 13 minutes away from where I live now. And they had a theater there. And I, I remember going to the theater and going by myself to go see Ghostbusters. It was a double feature with... Uh, with Beverly Hills Cop, and I remember watching Ghostbusters because it was PG, and I got away with it, and then, of course, they came in to check the theater in, in between intermission between the two movies, and I kind of hid in the corner of the theater underneath the seat so they wouldn't see me because I was so afraid I was, you know, I watched an R-rated movie, and then, as, of course, everybody left. They started the movie. I came back out and watched Beverly Hills Cop also. I'd already seen it, but I really wanted to watch it again, so it was a great opportunity for me to do it, but it's always a really great memory. It was a great one-two punch. You had the, you had, both of them were comedies, 
they were both kind of action flicks. It was just a lot of fun. So it's always a great memory. But it kind of took me back to those times to watch this movie. There was a lot of, yes, yeah, so a lot of formula from the original two movies. There's a lot of similarities between the first one and this one. But I, I really enjoyed it. So that does come out on Blu-ray, Blu-ray DVD and 4K. I have not seen anything for a steelbook yet, but I would imagine there will be a steelbook. I think it'd be kind of slick if there wasn't, being that they've they just re release they they, they re just they released the other Ghostbusters movies in steelbook all the time. So we'll see what happens. Um, also, I did forget Arrow is releasing some videos. They they announced some movies for their first slate of movies coming out in 2022. Um, most of our movies they've already had out. They've just remastered to 4K now. So. Robocop is coming out on the 29th of March. It's a, a new 4K transfer. It, from what it looks like to me, all the same stuff as on the previous Arrow release. They've just also added a 4K master to it now. They've done, they've upped the audio to Dolby um, Atmos. So that'll be really interesting. That comes on the 28th. On the 29th, um, they do have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, um, which is coming out in 4K also. I don't, I know it was a bit of a Blu-ray, but I think it's the first time that Arrow is actually doing Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So that will be on the 28th of March, and there's a 4K, ma that's a 4K master. It looks like there's a ton of special features, a couple different versions of the movie, I think. Also, obviously, got Dolby Atmos with it, the, the 4K, um, the 4K remastering of it. And the last one I saw was American Wolf in London, same thing. It's It's got all the same features as the original Arrow version did. It came out, what, like a year ago? Well, the, the, now they're going to have an additional disc. That's the 4K transfer, along with the new Dolby Atmos on that one as well. And that will be out on, I think it's I got that here, the 15th of March. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it with some announcements. I know Criterion announced a few things, but I was looking at it going, eh. It wasn't anything of note that I felt. There was a couple times I didn't even recognize on there. Um, I do want to say this, though. If you don't know, and this really bummed me out because I was just giving this information a few minutes ago before I started filming this thing. As you know, The Matrix, the new Matrix movie, just went, uh, just came out, I want to say it was yesterday. Um, I know it's available on HBO Max already. We're actually going to watch it on Christmas Day. We kind of, every year, we kind of watch a brand new movie, you know, in theater movie or whatever on Christmas Day. So that will be our movie this year. Um, and I, I know some of the reviews haven't come out so far, but what I'm really bummed about is if you remember a couple years ago, they had announced Matrix would come out on a certain day, and like a couple days later, they announced John Wick 4 would come out on the same day that you would literally get a, you would get a double dose of Keanu on that day, the Matrix and John Wick. Well, they finally came out, um, either today or yesterday, or whatever it was, at least I got the information today, that John Wick 4 is not coming out. This is, this is messed up. Not till March 2023. So literally, we have to wait an, well over a year before we get John Wick. Now, I'm pretty sure that movie's already been filmed, which doesn't make any sense to me because he, was, he film, wasn't he filming those things like back to back with The Matrix? And The Matrix was done a, a long, long time ago. So I'm really bummed that, you know, um, I, that we're going to have to wait a, well over another year for a John Wick. We're going to get The Matrix now, but we got to wait uh, for John Wick. And this was all apparently done because of they slid around. Um, at least my understanding is they, they had slid around the release date for Top Gun 2, which again, a movie that's been done for like two flipping years, but because they want to get Top Gun 2, apparently somehow that pushed back John Wick. So I guess Top Gun's coming out this May, and then we have to wait for another year or whatever before John Wick. It's stupid. Um, it, it, it just, it's ridiculous. It, I don't see why they can't just release it, especially, I mean, I, I don't go, I'm going off on this. I understand this, but like, Top Gun 2 has been done for a really long time. Like, a really long time. So the fact that they're still continuing to wait for it to release it is just... I don't understand Paramount's reasoning in this. I really don't. Um, just put the movie out and give us John Wick. I really want to see another John Wick movie. Maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. But um, a little bummed about that news today. So just be forewarned that John Wick 2 will not be coming out next year. It's coming out the following year. I can't believe we're talking about that far into the future already. I know I know. whenever you talk about Marvel movies, we're always talking about that. But, like, John, it's just, ah, I don't see why I can't come out this summer or something. But, anyways, that's what they're doing. It seems like ever since COVID started, like, these release schedules just keep getting messed up over and over again. And the fact that we're still, even though the theaters have been back open now for, what, a good six, seven, eight months now where they've, you know, been back open again. They haven't all been closed and stuff like that. You would think they would have caught up by now. But the fact that they're still pushing off movies from a year and two years ago because of COVID for another year or two years. I mean, by the time we finally see John Wick, I mean, you know, Kyle Reese could have gray hair by now. Or even Top Gun, the fact that we've waited this long for a movie, it just feels, it. I don't know. It, it's. I've experienced the past when they new a movie and then they wait two to three years to put it out. It just loses something. So I'm hoping it doesn't, but we'll see. 
But that is it. I'm going to get off the old soapbox. Um, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, the bell. You know the whole nine yards. I did want to say one final thing. A couple days from now, we we are we will be celebrating Christmas or, you know, not just Christmas, but any other way you celebrate the holiday, whether it be Kwanzaa or uh, one of their many, any other many ways that people celebrate this time of the year. So I want to wish everybody a very happy holidays. I hope you have time with your family. Um, a little small shout out to Bobby. Bobby, please take care, buddy. I love you. Um, I hope you have a great Christmas. But to all my to all my fellow viewers, thank you so much for watching my videos and, and commenting on something that I really appreciate. I really, really, really from the bottom of my heart, thank you. But at the same time, I also want to say I hope you have a great holiday holiday with your families. Spend some time with them. Watch some movies, because I know I will be. Um, you know, and just and just be able to experience the time. And, you know, last year we were all closed up because of this stupid COVID, but this year it looks like now we're going to have more time to be with family and stuff like that, which is a good thing. So I just, I, from the bottom of my heart, I truly hope that you guys all have a great holiday. I do want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everybody take care, always keep hunting because you never know what you're going to find, as always, and as always, live long and prosper.